All right, welcome back to Bayou Time. We're now joined by the Thibodeau Chief of Police, Brian Zarang. Chief, it's good to see you today. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine, thanks. After a nice, beautiful Sunday yesterday, it was really great. No Big doubt. Crowd. Looks like Big the weather's crowd. cooperating uh, for this Mardi Gras so far. Absolutely, and I was looking at the uh, weather for next Sunday. We have two more, and it looks like it's gonna be great again. So I'm looking forward to a good, good Sunday next uh, weekend also. Fantastic. What what are the, I'm so familiar with the routes in Terrebonne Parish, naturally, because I, I rode so many years, but uh, what are some of the, the routes in Thibodeau? Are they, are they pretty easy to manage, or do you have any tricky spots that uh, they're hard for the floats to make turns, or what do you all do? I, I know it's pretty big in Thibodeau also. Right, and that was one of the things we had to look at, is uh, how these floats can negotiate through town, uh, what route would be the easiest for us, resources and manpower. So uh, now we have everyone starting at Nichols. Uh, they leave from the university and they proceed uh, from Afton on to Audubon, Audubon to Menard, take a left on Menard, and they'll run Menard Street all the way down the canal, making a right on canal and then making a left on 2nd Street, uh, proceed downtown and make the toast is done at the city, at city hall right across the street from the old courthouse. Then it proceeds, uh, continues on 2nd Street up to LA-1 uh, for a short distance and then makes that uh, left onto Jackson Street. Once it proceeds down Jackson, we get to where Jackson and Canal meet. And then uh, there's a wide intersection right before Shawville's, if everybody's familiar with the Shawville tire dealership. And they'll make a turn there, come back up a short piece and then make a right onto Gerald T. Pelche. Uh, run that all the way down to South Acadia, South Acadia to Bayou Lane, take a left on Bayou Lane, which will put us passing right next to Pelche Park. Uh, and then take Bayou Lane right back to Menard, turn right back on Menard, go back to Audubon, take a right on Audubon back to, uh, to the college. Let me ask you, Chief, as far as, because I, I know here in Terrebonne Parish, there's a couple of people that every year, Got to test the police, got to make sure that they get the police's attention. And sometimes it's short lived, but sometimes it's serious. They have weapons on them and things of that nature and trying to make a name for themselves or differentiate themselves from people. And I'll call it a gang because that's what it seems to be. But uh, you, you've been having some uh, pretty interesting characters in Thibodeau. And I, I know y'all look for hot spots and do different things. Maybe you could <clears throat> tell us what y'all do. We do, and a lot of it is gathering intelligence, uh, picking up intel that we're hearing, and uh, monitoring what, what the street, what the street's saying. And uh, we know we know the hot areas. You know, after all the years of policing, you know some of the areas that you have to watch more than others. Uh, but like I said, for the most part, uh, we had no issues. My first Monte Gras chief, if you remember, I had the double shooting. Uh, thank God, no one was, was uh, killed or seriously injured. But uh, that was my first Monte Gras. After that, you know, it's been very pretty, pretty peaceful. And, if, you know, you're going to have your fights. Again, when alcohol is involved in anything, people get a little hot-headed. People have those little bursts here and there. But for the most part, everybody gets along uh, and just enjoys the scenery, enjoys the, the great day and spending time with family. You know, how do you use your knowledge from the state police? You were there for so long, and you were the public information officer. You dealt with our station for many years. But there's a certain way you can talk to people and diffuse things. And then of course it changes from state police going to being the chief of police, different whole altogether job. But how do you use what you learned with the state police and sort of incorporate that as a chief? I think uh, the benefit I had is I started here with PD back in 1980 before going with state police. So I familiarized myself with the city, understood the needs of the city. Uh, when you go into state with the state police, it's a little broader. You also get to work different areas. I've got, uh, I had the, the pleasure of working in New Orleans on several occasions for different details with state police in New Orleans. So you kind of look and learn from others. And that's what it's all about is sharing the communication and sharing the resources to, uh, to work and understand how they solve their problems, how they work on things, how they combat things. And I mean, that's where you pick up little things here and there. So I think being with, with the state police, you know, you learn that work in these different areas, but you can pick up these ideas and bring it back to your hometown. With about a minute and a half left, things, I guess, been a little quiet in Thibodeau. That's the way you'd like to keep it, right? 
knock on knock on wood, don't like to use the Q word. <laughs> uh, we just got, the thing we want to stress that we caught on this parade route. We telling people leave glass containers. You can have cans, but try to stay away from bringing glass containers to the parade. Uh, try not to bring animals to the parade because you know if they get something happens with a crowd like that, an animal could get spooked. Uh, also, if you're gonna come to the parade, bring trash bags. Pick up your trash. Now, if you don't have a place to put it, just tie it off, leave it off on the side. We'll get the trash picked up, but it's a lot easier for, for the, the, the the guys with uh, public works and parks to pick up this trash when it's all in a bag. It's a lot easier that way than having to go and pick it up and grab it all over the place. So we just ask it for, you know, a little housekeeping on, on the the participants' parts that are coming to watch the parade. Just take a little responsibility and help us to keep the little clean. Yeah, we got about 30 seconds, but I'll make a comment. I, I can imagine you riding with Mayor Tommy SGO in different vehicles, and I know how popular you are in the area for different reasons. So I, I imagine sometimes that hand gets a little sore, all the waving, right? It does, it does, but that's what it's all about. I mean, it's, serve, it's serving the public, and uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, that's what it's all about, just you know, uh, working with the people of the community. And you got a lot of people, new faces. I saw this parade route, you know, a lot of new faces, which we figured we'd have with parades not going on in some parts of the bayous mm -hmm. and stuff. So. I just want to thank everyone for doing their part to make it a safe uh, parade weekend so far. So I'm hoping the next weekend is the same thing. All right, Chief. Thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you for what you all do and the please do. We appreciate it. We'll catch up with you soon. And thanks for joining us today. I appreciate you. Thanks. All right. We'll be right back with more. Don't go away.